Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal. This right here is why today is gonna be a good day. This is an Air Venturi Avenge X. And this is our very first trip to the range with this baby. But real quick, let me kind of give you a quick run over. If you're watching this video, you may have already heard about the Avenge X and what it is, but long story short, this is a modular regulated PCP rifle. Modular meaning you can change out the stock, you can change out the air supply, you can even change out the barrels, and we're gonna do that in this video from 177 to 22 to 25. Today we've got the 22 barrel and the 25 barrel out here, but lots of cool features in this thing. You can even change the cocking handle from side to side, whatever floats your boat. This is our first trip to the range, like I said. I'm gonna get it sighted in, and then we're gonna do some groups with two different barrels back at 100 yards. Sometimes with these, we start at 50. Today, we're going all the way to 100. But let me show you everything we're using here today, the pellets, and then I'm gonna get to slinging them. I've got a, a Black Hound optic on there. You guys that watch the show know I'm a fan of Black Hounds. We got 24 zoomies on this one and we're gonna be using all the zoomies back at 100, but let me bring you over here and show you the pellets and everything we're using. So I just gassed it up all the way using my Nomad 2. Here are the pellets. Like I said, I brought the 22 barrel and the 25 barrel. So in the 22, we're using these jumbo beasts. And then for the 25, we are using these fields. Pretty, pretty cool. And for the targets down at 100 yards, we're gonna use these Caldwell sticker ones. Pretty neat, just got these in. Help you see your hits, especially back at 100 yards. But let's go back to the bench at 100. I already kind of bore sighted it or got it to where it should at least be on paper at 100. We've got a whole target to sight it in, and then I've got a target for 22 and a target for 25. This is gonna be awesome. Let's go back to the bench at 100 and get to slinging them. Before we get any further, if you guys have not checked out Pyramid, definitely go check them out. That is where we get all our air powered stuff, including the Avenge X that we're using in this video, but they've also got really cool stuff like 50 caliber Dragon Claws, stuff like Springfield Armory XD replicas, and a whole lot more. If you haven't checked out Pyramid yet, definitely go check them out. That is where we get all of our air-powered Bing Bangs. They're the largest and the oldest air-powered dealer online. Let's get back to that footage. While I'm thinking about it, I've got this Avenge X on high setting. That's another cool feature about this high and low. Quick change over to low power. And let me show you what I have the regulator pressure on. You can see that right there. Just for reference, if we uh, get some incredible same hole groups, then we'll remember what we had it set on. All right, now back at 100 yards, we just had some wind pick up, so hopefully that doesn't hurt us too terribly, but we're about to find out. Now, sighting it in with the 22s, Let's uh, see where we're at. Like I said, I think we should be on paper at least. But we're about to find out. 100 yards here. Hmm, I heard it hit paper, but I don't see where it hit paper. Let me try holding one a little high. Again, I heard it hit. Oh, there's a, a hit on the bottom left. Oh, and there's a hit in the top in the middle. Hmm. So, I think we're, if I'm seeing this right, we're hitting about one, two, two and a half inches low, maybe three, and we're to the left. So let me make a quick adjustment here and we'll take another one. Where are we at? 
You send another one. Oh, we're hitting just to the right of the target. I see. Oh, we're grouping under an inch already. Let me bring it. Looks like I moved it too far. So that's about two inches right. Let me bring it back left some. All right, we're in that center diamond. I'm gonna take two more. All right, good thing I didn't make the adjustment. So that hit the right side. Let's take another one. And that hit the top. So now let me move over to the clean 22 target. How are we doing on gas here? Ah, oh, plenty of gas. Move to a clean target and do some groups of these 22s here now. All right, now, how are we out on gas? We're still over 2,000 PSI, but let me go ahead. We're gonna swap the barrels, and while I'm swapping that, I'm gonna go ahead and top the tank off. Then we'll be back and do some groups with those 25 calibers. Back again at 100 yards, I just put in the 25 caliber barrel. If you wanna see a full video on doing that, I have a full video on how to swap the calibers out, but simply put, all you got to do is take out two set screws right here on top of the action, pull the barrel out, unscrew the plunger, and put the new one in, and then put the other barrel back in, put your set screws back in. But uh, I did have to take the scope off the way that I've got it mounted to swap the barrels. Let's see if this 25 is still on paper. I heard it hit the paper, but where did it hit? Let me hold the top of the paper this time. So it's, I swapped the barrels and then, but I had to take the scope off. Let me hold the dead center of the top of the paper. Didn't see it, let me hold low. All right, so now we got a hit in the up left. Let me send another one with that same hole and see if we get about the same spot. Yep. So let me make a scope adjustment here. It is up, so we need to come down. And it's left, so we need to come right. All right, now let's try a couple groups with this after I adjusted the scope. Let's go upper right target and send three. That put two in the same hole, didn't it? Ooh, I pulled that one. Some of that I think was me. Let's do the bottom right target now. So I got two in the same hole. So this has potential to do two in the same hole or possibly that was just luck, but hey, it happened. Let's see what happens now. Up and left. Just up. And up and left. So that put two in about the same hole too. Let me make a slight scope adjustment here. Remember guys, this is at 100 yards, the whole football field. Now let's do a group on the middle. Same hole. Oh, we need one more to finish that group. We've gotten the same hole, I think, three times out of this with these 25s. I don't know if it's me uh, jerking the trigger or what, but this uh, tune on it right here with these 25s is putting them in the same hole. Uh, and that's pretty impressive at 100 yards on a windy day. Let me finish that group there. Ooh, best group of the day. Let's go up to that top right target and just go for the very right. Same hole. 
Oh, I threw that one out. Let's do it again. This is getting some precision here. The bottom right target, the bottom point. Same hole. I think I just put three in the same hole, but let me finish this magnus on some steel. Uh, you might hear it, it's 120 yards away. Oh yeah, you heard that. Sweet, good one to finish it on, 120 yards. Let's go measure those groups. All right guys, so just measured the groups on our target. With the 22s, we averaged about a 1.6, 1.7 inch group at 100 yards. We got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Because this tune was really liking the 25s, I did a few more groups. This is at 100 yards, guys. A 1.02 inch group, a 0.74, that's two in the same whole one, a 0.62, that's three real close, a 1.06 up here, two touching. Here's another with two in the same hole, 0.82. Forgot to measure that one. That's probably a, that's somewhere around one and a half probably. And then this one, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there at the end, we had three punching the same hole. And if so, that's somewhere in a 0.2 inch group. So that tune with those 25s, hey, under an inch, this is close to half an inch at a hundred yards, guys, that impresses me. That really impresses me. And consistently under an inch out here in the wind today. That's pretty sweet. All right, guys, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty impressed with that. Right out of the box, didn't do any tuning, no adjustments on the hammer spring, nothing. And with those 25s that I just randomly selected, we were consistently under an inch group at 100 yards. Not 50 yards, that's at 100 yards. But hey, the Air Venturi Avenge X, this thing is brand new to the market. Lots and lots of cool features about this thing. Adjustability, change out the stock, change out how we get the air to it, change out the barrels, 177, 22, 25, very affordable to just add on that barrel kit to the Avenge X. But hey, I'm excited about this thing. Comment down below what you wanna see me do next with this thing. Super, super cool. With that type of precision, I mean, you could use this hunting, of course, just having fun plinking, but even doing competition stuff uh, with the Avenge X. And again, we didn't even do any tuning. This is straight out of the box how it was set up and it was consistently under an inch at 100 yards with those 25. Don't forget to go check out Pyramid. That is where we got this Avenge X. Pyramid is where we get all of our air-powered Bulat Slingers. They have everything air-powered under the sun, everything from 177s all the way up to the big boar hunting stuff like the Dragon Claw. Definitely go check out Pyramid and tell them I said hey. But hey, let me know what you think about the Avenge X. Appreciate y'all watching. Hoo-doo-hoo.